Breaking news. Many aspects of animals show that most species can be traced back to a common ancestor. Many fossils have the same traits as many animals today have. But how did these animals change from their ancestors? Natural selection is the answer. Here you can read more about it. But, for now, natural selection is when animals are best fitted to their environment, or their prey and predators, and they survive and pass on their genes. Therefore, their genes become more common. When a mutation occurs, if it better suits the animal towards the environment, then it, it survives and becomes more common. Animals become too different to breed, and eventually they can no longer breed. This is called speciation. Over to you, Josiah. There are three different types of isolation, behavioral, temporal, and geographic. Each type of isolation can result in a new species. As the respective populations become isolated and vary from each other, the two populations, the two populations differ too much to breed because of their different gene pools. Here is an example of a geographic barrier, a mountain range. Geographic isolation is when a population is separated by barriers, such as mountains and rivers. One example of this is two squirrels that are separated by a river, each adapted to their own environment. Another example is the polar bear and the brown bear. They are separated not only by the glaciers, but also the ocean. Behavioral isolation occurs when two populations are capable of breeding, but don't because of their different courtship rituals. For example, birds that sing different mating calls will not interbreed because they do not attract their partner. This separates the population so much that this will, they will become a new species. Two populations can, re, can pro, reproduce at different times of year. Because of this, populations never breed. For example, the American toad and the flower toad breed when put together, but when in the open environment, don't because of their separate, separate mating seasons. Now we have seen the different types of isolation that form a new species. Events, rituals, and even breeding times can create two new animal species. Speciation has been going on since the first living organisms. We may never know the secrets of the entire tree of species, but we know speciation is the most important part of evolution. Over here you can read more about speciation.